Hi everyone, it's Chrissy from Station Stickers. Today I will be doing a plan with me in my Moxie Life Planner vertical for the week of August 15th through the 21st. I'm using kit 121 in light gold foil. And hopefully you saw our last plan with me. I'm trying to be more consistent every week with these memory plan with me's. And like I mentioned before, certain areas in the planner I'm going to keep just to put like photos and stuff which I won't be showing in these spreads since I want to keep that a little bit more private. So first off like always I put down the washi tape at the bottom and later I realized that um, I had some space to do a stack with the single washi later so I did put that in but overall this was a fun week to remember. Um, it was my husband's birthday weekend or week since his birthday was on August 15th so we had a lot of celebrating this past weekend with family because it was my uncle's birthday as well. Went out to eat at this place called Gem Dining. I'm sure you saw in our last video I talked about that so that was a really cool experience and then on his actual birthday we just um, got some takeout and got a little Baskin Robin cake to eat so that was fun. But more about that as the week goes on after I put down these um, headers. And then moving on to the date covers. I've actually done some thinking about kit reformats for the future. So I wanted to set it up so that if you do have a Moxie Life Planner, you can sort of buy like the full strip that goes across instead of having to eyeball it like I did. So the kit formats I think will change. So that way, there's like a base kit for everybody, whether it's foiled or not foiled. And then like the add-ons will be the different type of date covers and date strips, things like that. So I'm not really sure yet. I have some thoughts in mind. So I know there are going to be some changes, so hopefully you like them. There'll be more a la carte options and stuff. So that way, if you're on a budget, it's better for that aspect too. So anyways... If you have any specific requests on what you like in the main sheet, just let me know below. Moving on to putting down all the page page flags to mark my work morning shifts. Since I do work from 8 to 12 every day, I drop my daughter off in the morning. I used to mark drop off, but since it's an every week thing, uh, I might mark it next time, just put like the single wash day at the top and mark that, so I may change it up, so we'll see. Also, in case I didn't mention, I will be changing the size of the small washi strip, so it fills that whole strip at the top too. You'll see when I show you the reformat in the future, but anyways, moving on. So I put down all the work stickers, and then moving on to Monday, like I mentioned, it was my hubby's birthday, so I wanted to mark that. I've been trying to keep the full boxes sort of to mark chunks of time. I think in the future, if I don't have the full boxes, I'll just be using arrows. But in the meantime, I'm just going to, instead of having a straight line across, I like it to be staggered a little bit. So I put down like a Monday, it was hubby's birthday, and then like any type of meetings I have throughout the week, just to stagger it a little bit more. But you'll see what I mean when I write it, when I put everything down. I think it gives it a more nice, like, balanced look. Because the kit I use for this week is just like an anytime, like, kit. Just a very chill vibe. So, anyways, moving on to Monday. So, after picking up my daughter, I went and got a smoothie. We got some takeout food from this place called Pita Stop that was really good and then went to my parents to take my mom to a physical therapy session. We have been really good at eating at home and doing budgeting, and then that was like our first like lunch out. Surprisingly, I didn't know Mediterranean food has a lot of salt, so my feet were really swollen the next day. Um, just with the pregnancy, I just noticed I'm a lot more, more like intolerant to salt and more sensitive, sorry, more sensitive to salt. So. Uh, something just to keep in mind for the future for myself but yeah I just put a little sticker with takeout and then I had a funny modi to put down that was holding a bag of food and then we got juice it up for my daughter as well before we headed over it took us longer than expected to get over there 
since we're going like about typically it only takes like 30 minutes but with like traffic during lunch it took about 40 minutes so we barely made it to the appointment on time but it was okay my parents my dad dropped my mom off and my husband dropped me off so I was able to go with my mom to physical therapy for her knees so it was a good appointment she's a really good therapist so yeah she's showing some improvement so we're excited to keep her going and then after that we just chilled at home had some family time and watch TV and just relax and you know spent the spent the evening on my parents and then we just did cake for my husband's birthday at the end of the day so it was nice when I was flipping through my collection of stickers I found this really cute cake one from the Coffee Monsters Co so I put that down after I wrote down hubby's birthday and I think that was pretty much it for Monday as you can see, I've been trying to include more little character stickers since I did reorganize my planner sticker organization. So if you're interested in seeing how I actually pull my stickers and things like that, I can do a quick video showing you how I organize my stickers. Since I did make this change, I've been able to easily plan since I have like, how do I explain it? Like the words on one side and then the, the stickers on the other side. So anyways. <laughs> I'll show you later but on Tuesday pretty much just came home after work did some sticker designs worked on orders and then I had my um, anatomy scan at three o'clock so went to that and then after that my daughter has a class at five o'clock so we had that as well but we had to drive pretty far for the anatomy scan since I didn't schedule it near my house unfortunately but it was okay we were able to make it back in time for her class I think the evening we just spent doing laundry and putting away stuff for the week, so wasn't that exciting. On to Wednesday, um, I did put a little flag on there because I had to go into employee health. Every year we have to do like certain tests and stuff to update, so I did go in and take care of that. It had to be done by the 31st, so I tried to get it done on that day. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do the blood draw, uh, so I was pretty bruised and afterwards, but I had to come back the following week and finish it up, so not a fun experience, but it's okay. I am a hard stick. That's what I've been told, so yeah. After the employee health thing, I did a quick drop off at the post office, and then I've been trying to be better at Instagram Reels whether it's just showing the stickers being made or a quick sped up of the plan with me or just different things. So hopefully you're liking the, the content. Try not to be as boring on Instagram as I was in the past. So hopefully you like that. And if you're not following us on Instagram, head over there and just give us a quick follow. We do posts like when our sales are and stuff like that. And then after Instagram stuff that I set up, we got takeout again that night. Don't really remember what we got, but I know we ended up buying stuff out. And then watching Captain America, like a movie night at home. We've been on this thing where we've been going through all the Marvel movies on Disney Plus and forgetting a lot. Well, after watching it, we realized we forgot so much from watching. So it was a fun experience to go through it all again. <laughs> and I also think I caught up on murders in the building on Wednesday since I didn't watch it on Tuesday so that's a fun show to watch on Hulu too if you're not um, watching that and I think that was it for pretty much Wednesday just relax before going to bed and try to not stress too much while we we're waiting for the results of our scan moving on to Thursday I remember marking that I needed to respond to a bunch of emails and stuff and customer service, so I had that. And then after that, we went to get some groceries. We typically go to Trader Joe's on the way home from work or from pickup, so that way we can get some groceries for the week. So I wanted to mark that. We did that on Thursday in order to remind myself to update my budget later in the week. And my daughter had class at 2 o'clock. It was like a makeup class that we had missed earlier in the week on Monday. And then did a Target pickup for a few things. And I think 
we just did yeah kbbq at home that day for to relax i've we used to go out to kbbq all the time but with the pandemic my husband learned like all these like fun recipes so i can't really eat out anymore because he's tweaked them to my liking and stuff so i'm very lucky to have a husband who knows how to cook really well <laughs> anyways moving on back to thursday i went and made some cookies at the end of the night and i think that was pretty much it and moving on to friday i forgot i had to set up the bottom washi and the date dots at the top first before i can fill out the rest of the week since i've been going sort of one side at a time but i went ahead and laid those all down including that skinny washi at the bottom I'm really liking how that looks, so I think I'm going to be carrying that forward for the future. Or maybe separating, moving it up a little bit so I can mark down like nighttime routine stuff, like checklist stuff. So we'll see. I may end up making some changes in the future, but overall I think it looks really nice. And then I went ahead and put down the page flag for my mark my work sticker and the weekend banner to mark the weekend, of course. On Friday, I worked on modules before coming home since we had to update some stuff. I think it's not even due for the next, till next month, but I just saw them so I wanted to get them done at the end of the day. And then after that, I decided to put down all the full boxes to spread them out a little bit throughout the week weekend so that way it's not too cramped in, um, at the top of the page. But I really liked how the full boxes looked and just with a nice like, dash of color as well as like little foil elements everywhere. I put my favorite box in the corner so that way I can mark just like a happy memory underneath it with the little marker that I've been keeping for pregnancy. So I went ahead and put that for 20 weeks pregnancy. And then below that I uh, wanted to mark some fun memories. So I was able to um, print up the script since I didn't have it last week so I marked memories on there. And then I'm going to be including some photos from this past week down there and just like cute things to remember what happened this week with my daughter. Going back to Friday, after work, after the modules, I ordered some supplies. We do have, uh, we pick up our mailers from a local place near our house actually so we don't have to get them shipped so it's been pretty nice. They actually have like the clear bags that we use inside our mailers too. So I ended up picking up everything from there. So it was nice to have to buy it locally and support someone local. So that was cool. And from now on, our, our like Happy Mail will only come in the same size package. It's like a seven by nine mailer now. So it's going to be pretty consistent. So nothing feels like jammed in there in the future. I don't think it felt jammed, but... In case we go to a bigger size like sheet offering, I just wanted there to be enough space. But yeah, so Friday night, after I did the order supplies, did some orders, caught up on some of my shows on Vicky. So this one called Webtoons is really fun that I'm watching. And then I updated the website listing since we did have some new releases going out on Saturday. And then washed my hair. Typically, I do that at the end of the work week, so that way it's nice and relaxed for the rest of the weekend. And I try not to wash my hair more than once or twice a week just because I felt like it damaged my scalp a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, on the Saturday, we actually had, this past Saturday, we had the new releases for our, like, Halloween foiled kit, foiled items. In the past, I would do, like, foiled Tuesdays and stuff, but it was just getting too hectic and just too busy having stuff every Tuesday. So we're just doing like one large foil release every month and I really like how it turned out. A very calm time to do like shop on Saturday morning and pick up things you wanted. We offer like a bunch of foiled colors that we don't normally offer since it's Halloween. So like we had orange and gunmetal and black actually. So people picked up a lot of the funner colors that we had and yeah, it was nice. We actually were able to package most of the orders this weekend and ship out most of them this week already. So hopefully you guys get them soon and enjoy. And yeah, I think next month or next release, it's going to be all like fall stuff. And the month after that will be like Thanksgiving or Christmas. So 
we'll be announcing it through our email list, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Um, going back to Saturday after the new releases, I just did some planning in the morning, and then after that, we went over to our friends for a pool day. They have like a pool in their backyard, so my daughter had a blast. We picked up some cream pond on the way just for dessert to bring over and just, you know, hung out in Newport, so it was chill. And then while they were in the pool, I was shopping during the sale from the Coffee Monsters Co. So if you haven't heard about them, go check them out. All the little emojis they have in my planner are either from our store or from their store. So a lot of fun things to pick up if you're interested. I picked up some albums to organize my stickers. So once I get those in, I think I ended up bringing them later in the day. So they're not for regular sale. I think it was for like a pre-order. So they'll be taking a while to get here. But either way, she took a nap after that. And then on the way home, they had some openings for Disney spots. So we just um, signed up and took her since we have an annual pass. So that was fun. On Sunday, it was a well-deserved break. We got to sleep in and relax. And then after we woke up, my husband made these like mochi donuts, mochi pancakes. And I bought this like pre-made mix. So that was good. My daughter actually liked it. So that was nice. And then pretty much just relaxed that day. Cleaned up the whole house from top to bottom since we don't have to do it on Monday. And then did our budget update for the week. We've been trying to be really good. I used to do budget planning on paper and the numbers changed so much that I didn't like it. So we're actually doing an Excel spreadsheet right now while we're learning. I think once we are able to see how much we make and use each month and organize it, I'll be able to switch back to my paper planner and be more organized. But so far, that was what we did on Sunday, just relaxed. And yeah, overall it was a really fun week with work not too bad and then just spending time with family and eating out and then just a very relaxing weekend with you know tidying up before the week starts i think that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you aren't subscribed be sure to subscribe and i will be trying to upload videos once a week as these memory plan with me's and i hope you like them and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.